All right, Fishaholics, welcome back. This morning, we're gonna try and see if we can stalk some snook. That's why I got the waders on. Tide is real high up, like you can see right there. It's all the way up to the bushes and the trees. So it's probably gonna start going out pretty soon. And we also have real clean, clear, calm water. And I'm seeing a good amount of bait fish in shallow, which is a good thing. And I've noticed in the comment sections, uh, quite a few guys have been asking, when am I gonna you know, get out, do some fly fishing and make a fly fishing video? So today or this morning is that day. We're gonna try and get it done. We have a small window, I would say, to get out because it's about 7.30, almost eight o'clock, but at around like 12.01, it's supposed to start raining. The weather's supposed to get more gnarly and uh, be the same throughout the rest of the day. So now is the time we're gonna bust out the fly rod and uh, start working along this shoreline here and see what we can find. All right, we're gonna start off with a little surf candy available in the link in the description. And I'm gonna be using about an eight to nine foot, 30 pound fluorocarbon leader. And I'm kind of amazed on how clean and clear this water is right now. We've gotta have about at least two to three foot visibility, which this is extremely nice conditions. Usually there's always a little bit of wind here which turns the water up. And on a good day, usually it's like five to six inches. So we're going to have to be real stealthy and probably make some real long, accurate casts to sneak up on some of these snook. And with this tide being pushed up so high, I bet you there's going to be a lot of fish pushed up right along like these corners between the dock and the, and the bank. And this is going to kind of remind me of what you know it is to fish up north for stripers on the flats. This is going to be pretty cool. I bet you as we keep working our way down, we're gonna probably start seeing quite a few fish just cruising. Maybe we'll even get lucky and be able to sight fish some snook. That would be pretty awesome. Oh, just spooked a snook. Oh, a nice one. There's one, fish on. There was two snook there. They were up there in like three, four inches of water, real shallow. Yeah, sick fish, man. This is awesome. This is probably one of the biggest snooks I've hooked on the fly. I did this last year for a little bit and the biggest snook I caught was like, 12, 15 inches wasn't that big. This is a decent sized fish, a little bit bigger than that. We did spook one though that was probably about double the size of this one right here. That is beautiful right there right in the corner of the mouth. Whew. Love these fish, man. There he goes. Yeah, let's get another one. That was so awesome. So let me kind of explain a little bit more in depth what happened there. I saw like a couple like, you know, long, slender looking objects in here in the water and I don't know if you could see but there's like this black like seaweed type stuff just sitting on the bottom so I didn't know if it was just seaweed or if it was fish so I threw you know one cache just right there and I took like a step forward spooked a bigger fish and I saw that one and then I paused because I was saw that fish swimming away and I was like oh dang it like maybe I should throw in front of that fish maybe like he'll still feed and on that pause, that fish we just caught slurped it right up. So we've only been fishing for about five minutes. I had no idea we were gonna catch a fish that quick. And we're gonna try and use what we just learned to our advantage. We're gonna stay out deeper here in about like two feet of water, three feet of water and cast up real shallow into like inches and work it out.
There's another one. Real little guy though. Oh my gosh. Look at this little baby. <laughs> what? <laughs> oh man. This was like the first snook I caught last year on the fly. But he was up there right where he should be, just like the first fish. And I'm surprised we're doing so well. I had no idea. Dude, I didn't even know the tide when we woke up this morning and came to the water. I kind of just got it in my mind. I'm like, you know what? We're going to wake up. We're going to grab the fly rod. We're going to hit the water. Two little snook right there. They're like 15 inches. They were over there along the bank and then they just came back and they're sitting between these two pilings. I haven't spooked them yet, surprisingly, because I'm not casting or I'm not moving at all. But uh, it's a challenge fishing around the pilings and around the docks with a fly rod, especially when the water's this clean, because you can't get like this close and, and pitch a fly under the dock. You gotta try and make a long cast. That's why I think we're just gonna keep focusing on the shallow water up along the bank. Here's another snook, another snook cruising right here. Oh, he spooked. Oh, I thought that was a fish for a sec. <laughs> we actually hooked uh, a tire. Nice. There's one. Whew, that fish hit really hard. Whoa. There you go, another decent snook on the fly. Loving the surf candy. All right, we're doing pretty good this morning. Three fish within like an hour, so fun. These fish absolutely crush the surf candy. I'm loving it. Caught that fish right in this little corner and he hit it hard. Whoa! I was walking towards the bank to, you know, change out the GoPro battery. There was a snook like 25 inches just sitting right here. Oh, see how steep this strop is? It's like two feet, like right along the edge. Should have known better. I was casting all along this entire bank and the one spot probably that I didn't hit, that fish was sitting right there. All right, let's get back on them. There's one. Feels like a good fish too. That fish was real tight to the rocks. Oh, he lost them. Damn. That was probably a little bit bigger than our first one. He was so tight to uh, that like little rock or concrete wall. There's one. Lady fish. Dang, that is perfect for a live bait. There we go. All right, guys. Dang it. You know what just happened? Well, first off, you see this little button on top of the GoPro? You're supposed to press that to start recording. And we caught the ladyfish, and then I pressed it to stop recording to start up another clip. And I guess I pressed it, or maybe I forgot to press it again to, like, start recording. And we worked down the beach, and first cast between this dock 
in the beach in the corner right here and we get absolutely destroyed by our biggest snook in the morning probably was like a minute to two minute like epic battle on the fly he was taking line out he was jumping it was so beautiful and uh, we caught that fish released him and then realized i wasn't recording for it <sighs> googan mistake you yeah, know believe it or not i've done that a lot of times that's why i'm so like anal about pushing the button like i'll push it like four or five times just to make sure I'm recording. I have, a, I have the volume up so I can hear it, but sometimes I just get so zoned in, I just forget to push it, I guess. But uh, we're also running low on GoPro batteries. I think I'm only, I'm on our last one right now, and then I have one in the car we're gonna have to go back and get. So I'm thinking what we should do is start working back the way we came from, because also the tide is getting lower right now. And the further south we move, you can see how the beach is getting sandier. It gets shallower and the bank doesn't drop off as steep. So I'm thinking we can go back the way we came from where it drops off steeper, tide's getting lower, and maybe some fish are staged back up or any fish that we missed. We can uh, try and capitalize on what just happened and get a couple more. It wasn't like it was a 30 inch snook though. It was about two inches bigger than probably our biggest one this morning. So I'm not kicking myself that hard, but it was just an epic, beautiful fight that you guys would have probably really enjoyed. All right, we're gonna try and pick up the pace a little bit more. We're on our last GoPro battery with only a little bit of juice left before it dies. So we're gonna try and just get one more, hopefully before it does. Come on, come on, fish. Oh, ho, ho, it's starting to smell like rain now, boys. Can we get one more before it rains, before the batteries die? All right, well, the GoPro officially died, but uh, we pretty much made it all the way back before it did. I guess we got to do a little bit better with our charging skills tonight. Last night, I don't think I charged them too well, or I forgot to charge some batteries. Sometimes I mix them up, which ones are charged and which ones aren't. I was tired after fishing all day yesterday and not catching anything. So at least we got here this morning, and I think it was definitely like an early morning bite because when we first got here, there was bait real tight and pushed up because of the tide, and then the snook were pushed up as well, and we had our first three within like the first like 30, 45 minutes, maybe an hour, but really quick and uh, solid action, super fun on the fly rod. It's real sporty, and you know, it's a lot more challenging to get them on the fly. And uh, then when it went slack and the tide started going out, that's when we had our last little bit of action, and of course, uh, our nicest fish to, uh, I didn't capture, but uh, that'll just make us want to come back for more. So maybe we got to do this tomorrow morning. I hope you guys enjoyed the fly videos. I know most of you guys don't, so but for those few that do, that's why I made this video, just so you guys could see some action on the fly. But anyway, let's head back up to the car. All right, well, it looks like we quit just in the nick of time. Just started raining. And this was today's hot ticket, a little surf candy, which I'll link below if you guys want to pick some up. And as well, check out uh, the Fisherholic merch, which I'll link below, and that all will all help the channel grow and uh, help so I can make more videos like this. Uh, you know, post a comment if you like this video, as well as drop a like, subscribe, post a comment if you didn't like the video, because then I can know why. Uh, but uh, definitely pretty sweet to get out there. If the conditions stay the same, maybe for tomorrow morning, which they probably won't, but uh, maybe we'll try and do this again. So uh, thanks for watching. We're gonna be heading back north soon, so don't worry, there won't, these Florida videos won't go on forever. But like always, never forget, live to fish, fish to live. And I'll see you guys in the next one.